Yeah, well, I mean, I think first and foremost, that's been uh, it's been unbelievable. Uh, you know, Emma was a complete trooper throughout the whole process. I know it's a lot longer than uh, probably both expected, but uh, you know, what, she was amazing, and it's just. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't really describe the feeling. It's uh, you know, leaving yesterday was a tough goodbye, but I know also in a couple of days. And um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been amazing to, to be back here with everybody and, and kind of get things going for this year. It's uh, uh, just a great time. To Despite how hard it was on the ice, is there a tangible level of excitement uh, with this group? No, I think um, I mean the excitement is there. It's and you can kind of tell the the hard work that everybody put in and you know you see old videos of you know passing those skates and, and guys hurting and uh but you can just see the work ethic that everybody put in this summer and that uh everybody passed with flying colors can you describe the skate at the end i mean just uh just a grind um but you know it's, we've did a couple hard skates in the past but uh no it's, it's just it's nice where you have a lot of time to kind of glide and, and get your legs going and, and just to stop it's of, of course the worst but um, you know what it was a you know, great skate to finish off a great day one your thoughts on travis green his first day he seems to command the ice really well yeah he was uh you know, i'm really looking forward to you know, playing from i think i can speak on behalf of the group it's uh you know it's it's definitely uh, commanding but uh i think we're ready for that challenge and ready for um, you know what it brings for us, and, and it's uh, everybody's on the same page and, and uh, working for the same goal. So, um, yeah, we're all just excited that got day one and uh, ready to go for day two tomorrow. Does he have a, a main message to the group? I mean, it's just, um, you know, there's a couple things that as a group and, of course, myself individually can work on, but just hammering about, uh, you know, we want to be a team where, you know, the team's flying and, and uh, they're not excited to play against us because, well conditioned, uh, well organized, detailed, and, and uh, uh, just a hard working group. So, um, I had showed out there today that that's step one, and we're just gonna keep it better. It's a big summer for your family, celebrated Matthew, your own family's growing here now. Can you describe what your state of mind is coming into today? Uh, I mean, uh, I don't even think excited is, is even the right word to, to use. It's, um, you know, starting with Matthew and seeing what he did and how many smiles and joy he brought to my family just uh, kind of became addicted to that feeling myself and something that I want to provide for you know here and, and you know my teammates and, and uh, my friends family as well so kind of start off with that and what uh, yeah just baby just realized what's really important and, and uh, uh, just want to be somebody that you know he's proud to look up to and be a good role model for you know him and, and uh, be a good dad and husband, so it's a lot of lessons this year, and, and uh, I'm just excited to be back with the guys and, and uh, uh, try to lead us to where we want to go. One of the things the coach talks about is team accountability. How as a leader could you help move that along and, and make it easier for the head coach? Yeah, I just think it's um, you know things we want to focus on and things that are a priority for um, our group and what our team identity, and it's not just going to be you know one guy. We have guys in there who are you know, such great leaders, vocal, work ethic, you name it, that it's collective. It doesn't have to just be coming from myself, Greener, um, management. It's, it's something that we all believe that novice and leader should be, and that's, uh, that's going to be our identity every day and, and uh, practice games, and, and uh, it was great to start off today. What's it mean to come to a camp without any distractions? Uh, it's different. Um, it's a unique film, but... Uh, um, you know what, to be honest with you, I, I didn't really think about you know, camp until flying in last night that uh, I had, uh, of course, other things to focus on, but uh, I think that it's also it's going to keep things fresh, uh, keep things you know, energetic that you know, every day if, uh, you know, I'll pride myself to come with a smile on my face and, and bring in my work ethic and, and try to lead by example in that way. So, um, yeah, this year it's great that we could just have you know, one goal in mind and can just focus on that goal uh, day in and day out. Day <laughs> one. Uh, yeah, no, it was good. It was a good pace. Uh, you know, just talking about systems and uh, going through some, some flow drills and get our legs under us. So it was, uh, it was a good push today. It's just all about hitting the ground running. Yeah, I mean, I think guys trained pretty hard this summer. Uh, everybody came to camp pretty uh, in pretty good shape. And uh, the practice that we, uh, we had uh, for us as players before camp, I think it was pretty high pace. So uh, it helped us for our uh, first day of camp. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. We're uh, 
we're really ha really happy for him and Emma. Uh, you know, the, uh, he's he's been talking about being a dad for a long time, and um, you know, he's he's gonna be a great dad. She's gonna be a great mom, and uh, we couldn't be happier for uh, for them and uh, Nick Jensen also. Can you give him any advice? Uh, when he was at the hospital, maybe I gave him a few a uh, few advice. Um, he's a pretty uh, emotional uh, guy sometimes, and uh, you know, he's. Uh, he did a great job, and uh, he, you know, I'm not too worried about him. A lot was made about the skating at the end, coming into camp. I guess your thoughts, having gone through day one of his skates. Yeah, I mean, the buzz about the skating test was pretty high. I feel like everybody was talking about it this summer. Uh, it was hard, but uh, you know, guys put their head down and skated, and uh, and we got it done. You've been, you've played for a few coaches in the NHL. What are your early impressions of Travis Green and his expectations? Yeah, he's uh, he's very motivated. Uh, I feel like he's on all the time, and uh, the way he communicates with the players, he can be uh, he can be relaxed and just talk about life and talk about hockey, or he can be or he can be on you if you need a, if you need a little push. So uh, it's been only one day, so it's uh, it's a little hard to say, but uh, so far he uh, communication's been uh, it's been real good, and you know I, I, at camp you you want to get on the same page with the staff and your new teammates and I think uh, uh, we're on track with that. When you're a team that hasn't met probably your own expectations, can a, a, a push or a boot in the ass or something, can that be good for you? Yeah, I mean, I'm a strong believer in that. I feel like, uh, you know, since I played juniors, any time that uh, I had a coach that would challenge us as, as players and uh, in a good way, I mean, usually uh, success happens after, so... Uh, it's always good to get pushed, and sometimes it's got to be player to player. Sometimes it's got to be coach to player. And uh, uh, I mean, if you can't handle it, you're uh, you're probably in in the wrong sport. Oui, c'était une bonne pratique. Euh, je pense que euh, tout le monde en parlait pendant l'été euh, que, euh, que la, les pratiques puis euh, puis le test sur la sur la glace. Euh, Ça serait, ça serait tough, mais c'est quoi? Les gars, ils ont, euh, ils ont travaillé fort, puis euh, on le fait. Sans avoir le détail de quel genre de relation tu as, puis quel genre de discussion tu as avec les coachs? Est-ce que c'est idéal? Oui, on a parlé un peu. Euh, c'est sûr qu'on a essayé d'avoir une, euh, une bonne relation, puis euh, il fait une bonne job de, euh, de communiquer avec les joueurs, puis de, euh, pour qu'on soit sur la même page. Et ça fait juste une journée, puis c'est important qu'on on communique, puis. Euh, uh, que, le uh, que le message soit uh, clair. Uh, message, tu, 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 on regarde pour le futur, puis on n'est pas mal assisté pour cette année. Je suis content que tu peux pas parler de Bobby, mais que tu as été dans le nouveau papa, tu l'as vécu récemment aussi. Y a-tu quelque chose avec les fils que finalement tu joues pas seulement pour toi-même à partir de là? Oui, ouais, c'est sûr qu'il y a quelque chose là. Puis, euh, 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 il va voir comme après un match, quand tu retournes chez vous, puis, euh, puis tu vois tes enfants ou ton bébé, c'est sûr qu'il euh, qu y a des choses. Euh, uh, then it's a bit, bit plus simple, and uh, see, uh, uh, see it's positive, so. Is it survive day, day one here? Oh, I'm thriving. <laughs> <laughs> Go as expected? Oh, yeah, definitely. Felt great out there. Were you anxious to get camp started because of the new change? What do you mean anxious? As it excited to get going here, it seemed like maybe forever that it took to you get... Oh, okay, yeah, anxious. that was a better wording, or... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was more excited. I wasn't. I wasn't anxious about it. Exactly. Yeah, we're we're getting there. Uh, it's certainly nice to get it started. It's it's been a long road uh, it's ever since the trade. So, getting on there and feeling like the rhythm and the speed and feeling like yeah, now we're now we're talking. Now we're back in business. Was was a nice feeling. What are the last few weeks like before camp? Like having skates here and getting to know teammates. Like, well, how do you approach? this time uh, in the new environment? I think it's the same as I've always done. You know, I try to be a professional, a pretty good human being, you know, trying to 
build relationships, build bonds, build trust with all the EFLs in, in the locker room as well. And I think we came a long way so far and still a long road ahead of us. You know, like I said, it's only the first day of camp, but for me personally, uh, I feel very you know, calm and collected out there. How much has it helped to be here? Like, I think you got here, was it the last week of August? And how much has it helped to be here and be familiar, get familiar with the city and the people? I think the, the initial trip that I did in July helped out more in the sense of that, even though I didn't have my family with me at that point, yeah, I had more time to actually explore, see what, you know, Ottawa had to offer in that sense. And, you know, I drove around a lot. I went to a couple of different restaurants and places and, you know, took my time. I really tried to soak it all in. So when we came here with the family, it wasn't feeling that it was a whole new thing in a sense. And they're taking a good care of us as well, of putting us in, you know, we were staying downtown in a good hotel in first and we've, uh, you know, took our time there as well to, you know, do a lot of walking around with the dog and let the kids explore. And then when we actually were able to move into the house, you know, we're in a great neighborhood and we feel very safe, feel <clears throat> that it's a spot where we, the kids are thriving and enjoying their school time as well, which is important they're doing well then we're doing well you, you're coming from a team that's had a lot of success a lot of playoff success a lot of success over the last few years you've come to a team that wants to get there how how can you help them make that next step it's showing how it's supposed to be done every single day and not just in some days you know, it's a long road ahead of us. You can't just play for 25 games. You've got to play for 82. And, you know, when the dog days come around 56 games into the season and you're gone on a road trip for nine days and you're going on a back-to-back in Western Canada or whatever it may be, you know, those are the games that you need to win. And it, it's all about making steps and becoming the better team after every, I don't know, 20 games or so and really put an effort into being the best sort of a team that you could possibly be once playoff starts. I, I think probably the one thing you, you learned about in Boston was consistency, right? And, and I guess that's what you're talking about, doing the same thing every day the right way. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, it's one thing if you're doing the same thing over and over again and it's just, in, you know, it's just insanity, especially if it doesn't work. But if you're doing the right things and you, you come in here trying to kind of like a win the day mentality that we've been talking about a lot more good things will come out of it than bad things and that's what we have to do and we have to be able to put that pressure on each other but also on ourselves that okay we have to become better at everything and we're going to do it as a group so once season starts there's never really any you know any uh, pettiness or anything going on whenever you lose a game and you go on you move on to the next one and you keep doing that, and you try to build on winning more games than losing them. Do you have a schedule in mind as far as preseason is concerned, preference to playing a whole game, half a game here, half a game there? We haven't really sat down and chatted about it. Uh, I don't even know how many preseason games we have, to be honest with you. So I'm kind of like, like I said, I'm trying to just take it day by day. I know that we're playing you know, soon, and it's this upcoming weekend, and then we have the Crafts game. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, me, PD, and Travis will definitely sit down and have a little conversation of what makes sense in the sort of and what they expect out of me. And obviously, if it feels great, first two games, maybe you don't need the third one. Or if it feels like, you know what, I need maybe a fourth one even or half or whatever it is. It, it all comes down to how the games that are being played out as well. Travis Green kind of mentioned yesterday maybe 50 or so games for you this season. What's maybe the target for you, and has that been a conversation between you two already about the kind of number of games you want to play this season? I don't think there's a lucky number or a target or anything like that. Definitely, you know, you came here with the... My goal is to play more than 50 games, and to do that and, and be able to put up the numbers as well together with the fellas is something that you know, my goal, initial goal is and if it turns out to be 55, 60, 75 or whatever it may be it all comes down to basically how I'm playing I think so and, and you know we, Forsy is like a tremendous goaltender as well and you gotta ride a hot hand sometimes and 
for me as well, I, I have to put uh, that kind of expectations on myself to perform at, at most of the times as well, because that's just how hockey is sometimes. You can't perform every night, but you got to bring the best of your cap- uh, capabilities. Uh, doesn't matter if it's 60, 70, or 100. Was it something that you changed maybe in the offseason, knowing that you were the you know, starter, that you, I don't know, ate better, did stuff better? Like, what was that like for your offseason, kind of preparing for playing a bit more games this season? Well, I went to Canada for a vacation. That was pretty nice. Uh, other than that, nothing has really changed, I would say. I, I feel that I learned a lot of things that was necessary in, in Boston during my time there of what needs, what the expectation level is, but also not, you know, you got to be able to enjoy it and not just go, you know, everything, you can't go... 110 percent at all times sometimes I have to take a step back take a look and see what do I need to focus on what do I need to work on maybe some people deal with injuries or whatever it needs to do prehab rehabs these sort of things and the knowledge that I've had before was limited to what I have now which is good and I had a good conversations with Rob and the, you know the trainers and those guys as well so it's it's been a good summer I mean, I mean, Brady just goes through the experience of becoming a dad, and now he's back here at camp. What do you remember about when you went through that for the first time and then coming back to the rink? Like, did you approach your life, your job here as a goal, like any different than a major life event like that? Oh, buddy, it's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just said, uh, welcome to the shit show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, that's what it is, man. It's, it, it's all love. That's what it is. You get to really experience what is important in your life because that is, that's what it is. Once you have your first kid or whatever, it doesn't matter if you get a second or third or fourth. Whenever they show up in your life, that's the best thing that ever happened to you. So I'm, I'm very excited to meet them. I'm very excited for them. And it's, it's such a blessing for everyone to become a parent. And coming home after games, doesn't matter if a win or a loss, is a lot easier. Just a quick one. Uh, you're a teammate with uh, Dustin Tarski at one point. Are you surprised to see that on the ice? <laughs> uh, no, I, they told me beforehand that uh, that he was going to come in and, and fill a spot for us. So it was fun, you know. I I got to know Ticker in Buffalo, so we uh, had a good relationship there as well during, I think it was the pandemic season as well. So we got to, you know, be around each other for a, long, a lot of times, so, a long time. So, uh, great guy, and uh, looking forward to, you know, compete out there with him on practices.